on my feet that you can pummel it through. So as he pummels through, my left hand's gonna check him. So I check him right here, just to make sure he can't sit up. So if, for example, let's say I was going for his arm, but he kind of like, pull, he might knee me in the back or he like sits up and now his head's connected to me. And now he like can't get back inside, you know. Now I have to whizzer and then we create a scramble. So it's important I have good posture when I do this. My elbow's gonna stay in. When he, when he kind of shoots that under, I'm gonna check him with this side. Okay, right here. His right hand might be trying to control my wrist and stuff. You know, so keep this in mind. You know, you'll be breaking the grips. Check right here. Now, since, since his elbow or his arm is going under and he might be kicking me in the butt and I feel like, dude, he's coming through, I'm gonna bring my elbow here, okay? To a collar tie. As I go to a collar tie, we're gonna control the wrist. As I do this, cut the knee out. And then now as I do this, we're gonna pull up as I walk towards the head. I try to control right here, but he's gonna try to stay on your side, please. Yeah, so as he, like, if, if possible, I would just like go to the door stop and pass, but let's say he stays sideways, really good. So as I walk towards the head, now as he goes here, my knee's gonna cover his head, drop my knee. We're gonna hit what's called, what I would, we call a side switch. Drop my elbow to the far side. Back step, and then we can get in a gift wrap here, or maybe take the back with a seatbelt, or maybe he turns back into us, and then we catch the underhook and the elbow right here. Body's real tight and connected. Okay, peel bridge over the shoulder, hip escape, and then he'll recover the guard, and we'll start again. We'll go the same side. So we get hand here, here. We get high. I just raise my knees. He's about to pull me into the guard. See, so I raise my knees, cut through, my elbow's in. See, I'm staying kind of low. I want to get this underhook, but he starts to force it. Check him. Elbow comes in, control his wrist, knee cuts out. As I'm walking towards the head, he's turning, he's turning. He goes over the head, and I back step. Okay, side switch. Come up on the knees, he'll recover the guard. Boom, he comes through. See how my knees just kind of come up? Coming through. Oh, I missed it. Check. Elbow comes in, grab the wrist. So from here, here. Now as a guy, like, even if I go like this, it's like he's gonna get my back. You see how I'm like, I've still got that collar tie with my elbow in. Okay, this is something I kind of have a, this is, suits me, me really well, because I have very good flexibility in my shoulders in this area, other than the one I tore. So the one I tore is actually from doing this, but I, I way overdid it. But if you guys can see my elbow, my elbow stays really strong here. He would love to slide it by, like, he, like a two-on-one, almost like a Russian two-on-one. Yeah, like if he could do that, he could take my back. So when I'm here, my elbow's in, control his wrist. He still thinks he's gonna go to my back. I come up on the knee, I drop my knee to the far side. He might be coming up for a single. Drop my elbow. So, last time, he recovers, elbows come in. Oh, I caught the underhook on that one. You see, he's about to get the underhook. Oh, I caught it again. Yeah, I went, yeah, exactly. Now we just here, I slide through, and back step. I see the drill? Oh, yeah. All you have to do on bottom is just play like this. On bottom, play basic defense here. And then go for the underhook. He's gonna check me. Yeah. Check. No, no, no. On my, on my neck. That's gonna just give him a moment. So now, if I'm like, see my knee? Look at the bottom person. A lot of times they, they try to capture your ankle or they try to kick you in the butt to kind of come up like this. Go ahead and get that collar tie. Switch to get the collar tie. Oh, yeah, that's me, huh? Yeah, instead of the wizard. Yeah. yeah, instead of the wizard. It's almost like you don't care that they have the underhook. You know, and then now he's gonna be, yeah, you see you're kicking that out? Now, I'm still trying. I don't want, I know that what you're coming around. So I'm trying, you're gonna side switch on me, you catch me right there. Okay, bridge, hit the skate, put the guy back in the guard, we start a new one. See how I'm playing right here, I go for the under. Okay, let me come up. Okay, he went straight to the move. You don't always have to use it, but you can check the guy right here. Oh yeah. Just check him and then get your arm right in position. 
in there. You don't always have to use it, okay? Exactly. And if you get really good at this and you like it, just go straight up. So instead of even, you know, you're in the knee cut position, yeah. just go straight to my collar. So if Bumps. I'm here, yeah, just go straight and just do the move. Uh, just slide right through. Exactly. Uh, okay. Okay. So as nice. opposed to the traditional getting the underhook, yeah. just go straight to the collar straight up. You know, especially if the guy's head was, is within reach and you have good grips, maybe you're not super sweaty. It's early in the grappling situation. You know, I'm a uh, recover guard. Yeah, so as I'm here, I just grab on and I just cut. See? So now he's trying to go to my back. And then I'm right in a position. I'm looking for more good stuff, okay? Give it a try, ready? All right, guys, we've already done this one before on the channel. Um, collar tie knee cut pass or knee slice. Um, I like this one a lot. Uh, again, most people probably are so used to the underhook, overhook scenario. The majority of people, majority of people do this. So I think when you, when you throw a collar tie in there, it can really, uh, it can really throw them like into a position they're not so familiar with. And the top guy can have a, a good advantage with most people. Obviously, if you struggle with turning your body and your elbow, there's a chance you could get your back taken. So um, when I play on the bottom, I definitely don't try to let anyone get to my neck. I don't want somebody on my head, but um, it's a game to play and there's two sides to every coin. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below. See you guys next time with more great stuff.